What's up everyone, Ben with the BTC Sessions here and this is your daily session. Hodl the Bitcoin. As you can tell from my surroundings and my beach hair, I am not at home. Uh, my wife surprised me with a trip to Mexico. She told me the night before and now here we are. So that has been the reason for the spotty uploads. Uh, and I also would like to apologize for the audio problems with my interview with Mauricio. I am sorting through the footage now. The audio is there, but for some reason it's just clipping at a certain point. So once I get the figured up, I figured out I will re-upload that interview, but it may have to be when I get home because the internet here is not great, but let's be honest, I, I really don't mind. Um, but let's dive into the news. So first up, um, there's this Coindesk article talking about how the price action of Bitcoin is very closely mirroring 2015 prior to the breakout into the bull market that led to 2017. And I have been echoing this for well over a year now. I made a video a year ago saying 2018 was gonna suck, 2019 was probably gonna be pretty flat, and then 2020 around the halving, it might start to get a little bit more positive, and 2021, I feel, will be the next insane rally. And why is that? Well, it's because the halving is in 2020 and as supply and demand does its thing gradually over the next year when less and less bitcoin are released into the market that pinch gets felt the price gradually creeps up and when people see the price creeping up they start to fomo in and it results in manias like we saw in 2017. so i would be very surprised if we didn't see more or less a repeat of that and probably maybe not as extreme, but another cycle after that, another four year cycle. So I guess we'll see. Um, but it, in the article, it says that Bitcoin could continue to oscillate between kind of the 3200 to 4300 range for the next few months uh, until it starts to break out. And honestly, I'm completely in line with that estimation. I don't think that we'll see any real major moves outside of that range um until maybe towards the end of this year late 2019 um and at that point i don't know maybe six to eight k which will be refreshing at that point i remember i tweeted at some point last year when it was five or six k that i it'll be hilarious when in 12 months we're stoked to be at this price again um and i got a lot of shit for that people made fun of me and thought that i was i was full of it and that it couldn't possibly drop anymore and then we dropped to 3k so i i really do think that we're gonna see a lot of just staying in a range and kind of boring price movement until later in the year and you'll probably see a lot of people going what the what the fuck is going on what's happening is it going up or down it's so boring what's nothing's going on and we'll probably see some more people drop out of the crypto space because they're impatient but i have low time preference, I am a patient man, and I can wait it out for a few years. I've done it once before, this one seems like nothing. Let's move on. Um, now, I did want to talk about, there is some malware going around for, uh, for Android, and it targets a number of different applications, including ones like Coinbase and BitPay, uh, so Bitcoin wallets. It also uh, targets some banking apps, and the way that this is being spread is through SMS with links to malicious software. So if you click the link of, of a text message you don't recognize, it downloads something. And essentially what happens is when you go to send a payment, it ends up rerouting it to the hacker's destination address instead of the one you designated. So be very careful if you get a mysterious or, or uncertain text message, do not click on any links. This should be common knowledge, but you know, people make mistakes so be diligent and share this with anybody that you know that is in Bitcoin cryptocurrency and even just general family family members because you don't want their banking applications getting compromised either and finally the last thing I want to talk about I'm trying to keep it short because it's so hot right here <laughs> but um, I have an official sponsor 
for my show now. I'm so excited about it. Now, I kind of announced it on my interview with Mauricio, but I had to take it down because the, the sound crapped out, which again, I will fix. But, Ledin.io, a Canadian company, uh, Mauricio Di Bartolom <laughs> Bartolomeo, uh, is, is part of that company, and, and I met him a while back. He's from ben Venezuela. He's got a hell of a Bitcoin story. He, of anyone that I've met, understands the value proposition of Bitcoin. And so he now is based in Toronto. Um, they have a company where essentially, if you have Bitcoin and you find that you need dollars, maybe there's an unexpected expense and you want to get access to money, but you don't want to sell your Bitcoin. You, you're worried that it's going to go up in value when you sell it and you won't be able to buy in at the same price. They offer lending services. So what you can do is you can go to their website. You can say, hey, I'd like a Canadian dollar loan um, for anywhere from $500 upwards. And all they need is for you to do a quick check of who you are and once you get approved, essentially most loans are approved and funded within 24 hours. The application process is about two minutes. I've done it, I tried it out myself literally last week. And yeah, it, it legit was just a few minutes and the next day I had money in my account. So really cool, I think that it's a great uh, long-term solution for people that want to hodl that may need just a, a some cash in their pocket momentarily um, so feel free take a look leaden.io I have will have links to that down below I also have links to it on my website and uh, check them out but Mauricio thank you so much for uh, being a sponsor of the show thanks to the whole team at Leaden, and I do really appreciate it because I've never had a show sponsor before and it's not for lack of people asking but it's for lack of companies that I believe in and felt comfortable recommending to people. So being a Canadian company, being someone from Venezuela that understands Bitcoin and offering a service that real people might use and isn't scammy, um, I'm, I'm all for it. So uh, if you want to help out the show, check out the links down below. Let me know what you think. Anyways, guys, that is it for me today. I'm off to bask in the sun, get this shirt off and hopefully get a tan of my super, super still white skin. And I will see you guys, depends, uh, but I will see you guys soon, sometime soon, for your daily session.